the TSP2 Bridge Preservation Working Group reports. There's going to be four speakers on that. The first one's going to be David Juntinen, Bridge Management Lead of the Kircher Group. He'll be talking about the Working Group update of Bridge Management Systems. And uh, so I can give uh, just a quick update of the uh, TSP2 National Working Group for Bridge Management Systems. We had a little movement in the leadership of the group in the last year when Dan Mueller joined the FHWA. And so our co-chairs now are Todd Springer and Dave Juntinen. And uh, vice chair is Jeff Melton and the secretary is John Hooks. And um, I, I've talked about this before, so I'll go over some, some of this quick. But our, our working group scope for bridge management systems is uh, the development or adoption of best practices in bridge management systems. And I would always tell everybody it's a really exciting time because these systems are finally able to run. You're finally able to hit an optimization button. You're finally able to use the systems. And so that's why it's a really good timing for us to have this working group. And the working group is almost like a, a group session where we can learn from each other. And I'll, I'll say this now and I'll say it at the end that uh, others are welcome to join the calls. Uh, our purpose uh, when we started identifying, okay, uh, what the working group should work on and uh, we want to, uh, to relate to where the different state DOTs are. And so we broke it up into basic, intermediate, and advanced bridge management systems. And so if you're at basic, maybe we can help you get to intermediate. If you're at intermediate, maybe we can help you to get to advanced. Uh, we want to monitor and share the national development of uh, these management systems as they evolve. And again, it's a very, very dynamic time. So basic bridge management uh, systems is a collection of the inventory, and I think everybody's doing that because uh, we have to do it. You know, basic is, uh, well, just having just basic goals. You know, it could be the national performance measures. Your state might have, have their own goals. You know, just monitoring your trends over years. Um, I think it's just really valuable to me just to look at, you know, the last year trends. How, how many bridges went to one condition state to the next? Am I getting worse? Am I getting better? Intermediate uh, is when you start getting into doing deterioration modeling. Uh, and well, Bill will be talking about the Midwest effort here uh, shortly. Uh, and then doing that net, uh, network level analysis. That's basing uh, you know, your analysis on averages and not specific bridges. Uh, when do you have deterioration modeling and you have some basic information about your network, you can start forecasting the, the future condition, which might be helpful to your TAMP and things like that. You can do a gap analysis, again, tied to the TAMP. Uh, and data to support and validate your agency rules for network level bridge preservation policies. And that ties it into our group here is, uh, you know, how can these BMS systems uh, show value to preservation? And uh, I'm not sure if I have a slide on that, but I, there are some really new exciting ways. Um, how many states calculate uh, benefit cost analysis? It's good to see some hands. I really encourage people to to learn how to do that, because one, it's the foundation to any of your advanced bridge management systems. And uh, the one thing I learned in the last year, just about always your benefit over cost of doing a preservation activity is going to be better than your benefit cost over doing a rehab, which is going to be better than your benefit cost over doing a replacement. So uh, preservation clearly uh, can be shown with a BMS. Uh, so it went, now we get to advanced, and that's where we get into, you know, the Ashtoware BRM and the Agile Assets and the Dayton, and there's even other products out there, uh, Atom, and, you know, so there's, there's lots of cool tools, tools coming available. Uh, but these, these advanced management systems, you are, your purpose is to identify the most appropriate actions for individual bridges. We're getting down to a bridge level. Uh, doing benefit cost analysis. I guess I jumped the gun on, on that one because that's on this slide. Uh, life cycle cost analysis and user cost analysis. Uh, risk, risk assessment. Uh, but really these, these systems like at, at Ashtoware BRM, they're built to do optimization. And so to learn, okay, what does that mean? Uh, well, it's just identifying, you know, given a, a, an identified budget, you know, what's, uh, how are you going to choose the best benefit over cost for your selections? And uh, uh, it's kind of a cool thing. And then once you get your system running, and then you can do s uh, scenario modeling, and then you can do strategic planning, all, all, all kinds of cool stuff. 
So our deliverable products uh, was a white paper. I have a check mark on that. It can be seen at this link, uh, or just Google, uh, you know, uh, National Bridge uh, Bridge Management System Working Group TSP2. Uh, it'll bring you right to it. Uh, what we're doing right now is a survey uh, of practice, and it's not the little survey that, that we just went over in our breakout session. It's kind of a bigger survey. Has anybody seen that or filled it out? So if you didn't hear John, uh, the survey hasn't quite gone out yet. Todd is uh, making some last minute changes to it. We have a list of 55 people that it goes to, but uh, at least our list right now aren't the people that are here. Uh, so if you're, if you want, if you should be the right person in this, in, in this, your state to get the survey, you know, come, come talk to me, and I'll, I'll, I'll get your email address to Todd. Next thing on the on the list is to develop a proposal for a national BMS scan. Uh, our working group just decided that we would be best to wait another year before we do that. So the, hopefully that scan will take place if we're approved for the, the domestic scan money uh, would be uh, the spring of 2021. And then follow that to develop general guidelines and examples. So uh, the BMS survey, uh, what does it cover? Uh, well, which BMS are you using? How is setup and calibration going? Uh, there's a lot of challenges in that. Uh, what, what are your biggest challenges in doing it? Uh, what's been helpful and uh, what research and help is needed? How are you doing with condition and deterioration modeling? Your objectives and benefits, uh, risk, objectives, life cycle cost analysis, performance ma management metrics. Okay, all these things you input into the BMS, your actions, action costs, and project types. And, you know, have you achieved optimization? Uh, and, you know, there are states that have done that. And, uh, you know, but then they're at the point, well, we've optimized. Well, okay, how do the results look? Well, <laughs> that's another story. Well, that's actually natural. And uh, I, because to me, okay, when you hit that, point where you hit the optimization button, that's not the finish line, that's the starting line, because, uh, you know, it's not going to be right the first time. You have to go in and you have to validate, you have to identify, well, why did it pick this bridge when it, it, it don't make any sense? And you have to run it a lot of times after that before you really start uh, getting results that you can use. Our next steps, uh, well, uh, once the survey gets out uh, and then we collect it, we'll start compiling the answers and I'm sure that we'll share them in some way. I'm not exactly, I don't think the group has talked about how we do that, whether it's on the, on the BMS website or I'm sure it'll be through conferences like this. And as a, a last reminder, our BMS National Work Group, uh, you know, we welcome uh, folks to participate in it. Uh, Again, it's just like a, uh, we talk about our issues and challenges, and uh, it's just a good way to, to, if you're feeling alone doing this, that you won't quite feel so alone. And that's all I have. Thank you. Thank you. The preceding was produced by the National Center for Pavement Preservation. More information can be found on the web at pavementpreservation.org. Additional support provided by Michigan State University.